What's good YouTube, Ben here. Welcome to the next video on the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to install KDEN Live on Ubuntu. Let's get into this. Before we get any further into the video, don't forget to like this video, please, because it really helps with that YouTube algorithm. It helps people to find my videos. Don't forget to comment down below as well. Comments help with the algorithm, and it also helps me to understand what you guys wanna see. Don't forget to subscribe because we're really trying to grow. We're hoping to get to the first thousand subs by the end of this year. Don't forget to turn on those notifications as well because you'll get notified of all of my uploads and my live streams when I go live. And don't forget to join me on my socials. Those are all linked down below. But let's get back into the video. All right, so there may be those people that are into content creation. And if you are, then Caden Live is a great piece of software to have because it's a video editor allowing you to obviously put some more time and effort into your videos, edit them, make them look and sound nice. Uh, I do apologize that this video, the mic is going to sound terrible. It's because I'm using my headset mic because my main Razer Siren broke. Um, tomorrow I'm off to my girlfriend's where I'll get back my blue snowball. So I should have better quality for the next set of uploads. But anyway, so there are three methods to do this. You can do it through the Snap Store. You can do it through just the terminal or you can do it through the website. Now, I'd recommend the terminal so you start learning these commands. So um, let's quickly do control and t that will enter the terminal sorry control alt t um that will open up the terminal so before you do anything of course type in sudo i can't spell apt update uh enter your password see now it's telling me there's a bunch of stuff to do here 88 packages upgraded can be upgraded that's okay so you just want to type in sudo apt upgrade. That's going to quickly install all of your updates. It won't take long, depending on how many you've got to do. I haven't opened VirtualBox. So I'm doing this on VirtualBox, by the way, if this wasn't already apparent. Uh, but of course, this will work on normal Ubuntu or any distro that uses Ubuntu as its base. So ones like um, Zubuntu, Lubuntu, Linux Mint, um, Elementary OS. This will work on stuff like that. So it's quickly going to finish doing our updates, which won't take long. I purposely left these updates to be done, by the way, because um, I don't normally leave them for the videos, but obviously you can see what it's like if you're unfamiliar with the entire process. It's literally just, it'll install your updates, then it'll just progress to this point where it's unpacking everything and doing everything. But this process does not take long, so we'll quickly cut back to when it's done. All right, so once it says done, we can go ahead and just type clear. Oh, that would, uh, it would help if I spelt it right. There we go. So I'll just clear the terminal of all text so we can do the next one. So this is where we actually go to install Kden Live. So this is the command you're going to want to use. So it'll be sudo apt, sorry, no, sudo add dash apt repository ppa Kden Live slash kden good job i checked because kden live dash stable so this will tell you enjoy the latest kden live release press enter to continue so of course this will start the download process for kden live which shouldn't take too long because it's not the biggest thing there we go so that's now done so all you want to do is sudo apt update to make sure it's got everything it needs for kden well oh i can't spell today so apt update there we go so it's just making sure it's got every dependency for it it does which is great so then all you want to do is type in sudo apt install kden live and now you've got everything you need press enter when it says yes and then boom, that will install Kden Live for you. So of course, Kden Live being probably the best video editor you can get on Linux. A lot of the the more popular ones for Windows just aren't available on Linux. Stuff like HitFilm or Sony Vegas, you can't really get those on Linux. Technically, you can if you install a compatibility layer through Wine or something, but even then, it's a bit. <sighs> 
Wine is a very sketchy thing. Whilst it does add a compatibility layer for Windows applications to be installed, it's not exactly what I would call the most stable thing in the world. Like, it's just not. And unfortunately, it works the same way with a lot of capture cards or a lot of other games. Like, when you're trying to install a game through Wine, it's just, it's a bit of a weird business. But yeah, that's how you install Caden Live on Ubuntu. So, if this video helped you, don't forget to hit that like button, please, because it really helps with the algorithm. Don't forget to turn on notifications. Join me on my socials. Those are linked down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one.